This tutorial is all about how we can install this Squarespace filter plugin, a universal filter by the Square Websites plugins team. If you're wondering why this is a really powerful plugin and the various applications for it, I'm creating a wide range of tutorials that covers that exact point. However, I've already created a video that's an introduction to this tool to ease you into it for the first time. This video continues from that one, and we're going to look at the installation process, everything from pressing the add to cart button on the Square Websites website. If you go to squarewebsites.org and if you find the universal filter plugin, which is available by the top menu as a shortcut, or alternatively, you can access it via the Squarespace plugins on the menu as well. I should have a link in the description that will also help me a little bit because it's an affiliate link and I'll get a little bit of a kickback, meaning that I can create loads more of these tutorials for you as well. We can see here that the price is $74. We can use the add to cart option which puts it in the cart. We go through the standard checkout process that you would expect with any Squarespace or any e-commerce website. And once you've purchased it, you'll be able to download a text file that will give you a direct link through to this page. From this point, the Square Websites team gives you loads of tutorials and ideas for how you can get the most from it. And if I was to click on this button, I've already got it open on a tab here. We can see all the different applications and the ways that we can fine tune and work with this mammoth filter. It's huge. And I do want to go through each and every one of these 18 step-by-step -step guides, and I'll be creating my own tutorial videos with my experiences and how you can get the most from it. But first things first, let's show how we can install it. So I'm gonna go through the installation process and pick it up from the moment you enter in the URL from that text file that you receive. And we're gonna skip down to step one. Whether it's a blog in this example here, we're gonna be using it on our template website from Squarespace. We haven't really done anything stylistically with this. What I have done though is created three categories and a couple of tags applied to a couple of the products as well so we can see how they work. We can see we need to click on the cog next to the page, then go into advanced whilst in that settings area. So the cog opens settings and we then go to advanced and then finally page header code injection. So let's jump back and get to that stage. Let's jump right the way back to the homepage in Squarespace admin and we're gonna click on website, pages. In this case, it's my shop, which is a e-commerce feature. Click on the cog, I'm gonna click on advanced. And from here, we can find the page header code injection section. That was a mouthful. Now we're ready to paste in the code. So I'm going to skip back over to the tutorial and it very neatly gives us the code that we need. I'm going to copy this, paste it in, and now I'm going to press save. From that point, we can see this get filter config button. So I'm going to click on that and it gives us the code that we need to copy. I'm going to click, hold, and drag from the top left-hand corner to the bottom right-hand corner. I don't want all of this information as well. And I'm just going to go and check. I'm doing this with a touchpad, so it's a little bit more fiddly than a mouse. We can see all of that information is copied. So I'm going to press Command-C here on a Mac, although if you're on a PC, it'll be Control-C to copy that code. I can now close this. And I can now go back into our advanced code injection section. Advanced. I think I can just get rid of this at this stage because we've already used it and I've got the code that's been generated for my shop. There's loads of settings in here that you could go through one at a time. I'm not going to go through that today though. I just want to keep it really simple and really straightforward. This is as straightforward a setup as we can get. And we can see that this script here is the same as what we had in at the start. So that's the reason why I was able to delete it because we've already got it in this code block as well. I'm going to press save. And now we've got all of our options in place. But if you've only recently added new categories and tags and you've been adding this and then removing it and, and playing around with it, you might find a delay before you see all of these options. Don't panic, it's worked every time for me. Sometimes it's taken as much as five minutes for everything to be set up. But now it is set up, we can see We've got our three category options. And when I click on it, we've got an animated load for each of those. We can switch between those options as well. I can remove the filter, showing all the products once again. We've got 
tags for sizes of products. And we can change the titles for these sections as well. We've also got the option for sold out and all. And if I remove all of those tags, we can see that there's items tagged with sold out. So if we were to choose sold out only, we can just test it then to make sure that that one sold out product is demonstrated. We can also sort using this filter from A to Z, low stock, high stock, and also by price. If you're based in the UK and your market is predominantly UK, or well, the same with in Europe and the Euro, you'll be able to change the currency for each of these via the code area as well. And I'll probably create a little tutorial showing how you can do that. We've also got a search option as well that's built into this toolbar. Finally, I'm just going to take this code back out again just to show you the difference of how it looks now with the code and how it looked without. So I'm going to go back to advanced, header code injection. I'm just going to press command A to select all, command X to cut it out. Now, of course, you won't need to do this because once you've installed the filter, I'm pretty sure you're not going to want to be without it. But this is what the standard Squarespace shop area and how it works. Okay, it's simple enough. And if you've only got a handful of products, it's probably fine. But as you build your online store product by product, you'll find this, like I have, really limiting. Once we clicked into a category, the only option we've got is to jump back out of that category and back to the product section, which is a slow, clunky user experience. Whilst with our shop filter, we've got all of these options that makes it a more pleasurable experience for the viewer, which means that they're more likely to buy and more likely to buy multiple products from you. And that's the aim of the game, especially with e-commerce. I will be showing you how we can use this effect to make browsing through blog posts a nicer experience as well. Hope this helped you. Leave a comment if there's anything you feel that I've missed from the installation process. Also, don't forget to check out the description where we've got the link for how you can purchase this product. And finally, we've got a community over on School, that's School with a K, S-K-O-O-L, all about website builders with Squarespace being front and center. And we are building a dedicated section for Square Websites plugins because we love them and because they allow you to make your Squarespace website look thoroughly professional, bespoke, and a really nice user experience for your audience. And the one thing we can promise you is that you can gain extra support from our team where you leave a message asking how you can get the most from these plugins or if you're having issues with installation our team can help by that community and we're looking to bring in experienced squarespace designers who can help you as well either free or paid so we can build that community and it's only going to be 15 dollars a month i've left a link in the description check it out otherwise i'll catch you in the next video cheers